The same old hello and welcome to a bit of a different video for me because today I will be showing how I made this scene in Blender. As you can see it is some sort of a coffee mug thermo warmth keeping coffee thingy which I modeled after one I have on my own which I bring to work and school and stuff every day. One day I was bored and I was like hey, let's model this and I made it a bit more interesting by adding these imperfections here and there and trying to make it as realistic as possible because I wanted to try out texture painting in Blender because I haven't done it that often. So here we are in Blender. This is the finished scene. So this is what it looks like when it's rendered. Of course, uh, it does take a bit long. The model. It is kind of not that hard actually. It's just I made a cylinder. I just kind of extruded it a bit here and then I added some stuff here and then I resized a bit. You know, that's how I made the whole thing basically. And the same goes for the um, for the lid. I don't know what it's called. Same goes for the the kind of beaker lid thingy. The more interesting stuff is in the shaders because this thing alone already has like a bunch of shaders overlaid onto each other. If you know Blender, this may seem a bit daunting, and I can understand that. Everything just starts off with this shader. This is the new big thing in Blender. It is a PBR shader which stand for physically based rendering which means this shader is every other shader in Blender combined into one thing and it automatically handles stuff like accurate reflections and stuff like that which is amazing and all these things connected to it are basically telling the different parts of the shader how to respond to light basically. This part right here is metallic. This is the shader that contributes to the metallic thing as you can see over here when I turn it down now it suddenly becomes like marble, it almost seems, with some smudges and smears over it. So this is the metal part. And as you can see, there are tiny details I added onto it, or at least I tried to, with like rough edges that the coffee causes. I don't know exactly what caused it, but I modeled it after my own mug, so it had those stains right there. And fingerprints, which are very common on those types of things. Basically, those I painted on, they are texture maps, and the white parts tell the shader, okay, this is just completely shiny, while the black parts tell the shader, a hey, this is rough. At least I connected it to the roughness input, you can make it do all sorts of things. And I ran it to some sort of a thing which limits the amount of roughness. So that's basically the whole top part done. It just has a metal shiny shader with some maps that tell the shader where it needs to be rougher. This is the second shader which is kind of a weird one. This is something that to me it looked like it was half metal and half something else. This is another texture map I painted onto the model which tells the model where to get one shader and where to start with the next one basically. So the chipped off like paint is just drawn on basically. So as you can see the same principle applies here. The way this works is that the white parts tell the model that it should use the blue shader and the black parts tell the model to use the metal shader with all the other texture maps applied to it. So as you can see I painted some scratches and things all over there so that the other shader comes through at a few points like here and here just some tiny details and also this blue shader as you can see has some roughness and other maps overlaid onto it as well like these scratches like very subtle but they add a lot in my opinion and these more obvious smudges and smears and down at the bottom I removed some of the paint as well because that is what my original mug looked like. For this top layer, the same applies. This one is just the principal shader, which is the, the uber shader in Blender, which controls everything, basically. Which is set to a shiny plastic black type of plastic. As you can see, there are some rougher slash more shiny parts all over the place. And that is just a kind of smudge texture overlaid onto the roughness input so that it becomes rougher or less rough. The black parts are extremely rough and the white parts are shiny. The top part is kind of just a white plastic shader. Onto the screw top beaker thingy. This inner part is... Oh man, this one's a mess. The inner part is just the same black shader as the other plastic part with the same kind of roughness maps and some shiny, some rougher parts. But the interesting part to me is the metal because my original mug had this sort of 
like sanding pattern what you see when you have like a frying pan and you look at the bottom it has those like tiny graves all along the bottom which on a pan at least they go in some sort of a circular pattern and on my mug it just went all along horizontally so I tried to recreate that this is a noise texture which in blender is some sort of a weird texture as you can see I changed the color now it is all like random colors on some sort of a white background the way I did it with the noise texture is I stretched it all along one axis so that it becomes all squashed and made it look like a sanding pattern as I zoom in you can see it more clearly I think it's not that detailed and could probably be like more accurate and stuff but it suffices for like this view and angle it's just a subtle effect in my opinion on the metal part as well there are some rougher parts and some scratches and other tiny details added a bump which is just a physical like I made the model and then I dented it by just taking parts and then pulling them out and stuff like that that's how you do that but yeah that basically is how i made this model and if you found this somewhat interesting or helpful in some way just let me know in the comments down below and i'll make sure to make some other videos whenever i have another project in blender i can share some things about like this one it was a bit of a different kind of video for me to make as i normally don't really do this but it was fun talking about it so if you would like to see more just let me know but for now if you like this video just hit the like button till it breaks and punch subscribe until it shakes. I will see you all next time this Blender video is over. YOLO flying.